This is the face of a modern city today. Hardly any trace of what it had gone through during the last World War. From its present appearance, you could not tell that it was one of the most devastated cities in the world. Like many cities, a river divides it into two. In this case, it is divided into the northern and southern part. During the war, the northern portion of the city was liberated by the Americans, while the southern portion was held by the enemy. While the north was rejoicing over its liberation, civilians in the south were being massacred. Tens of thousands died in the south as all bridges that spanned the river were blown up. This is the story of a people, mostly civilian, caught in the crossfire. The story of a battle for the liberation of a city and how it was devastated. The story of a city that might have died, but didn't. Please forgive this intrusion, Captain. Yes, yes, tell me what you want. We are all presidents of neighborhood associations. We would like to request permission. Have you discussed the purpose of your visit before coming to see me? We... Yes, sir. Meetings of groups of more than three persons is forbidden. Sir, all our families have been moved into the old renters' building. Has can you come? はい、確かです。誰の命令だ。司令官からの命令であります。Go on. Captain, we request, we beg permission to evacuate the walled city. That is forbidden. Sir, the women and children only. The men would stay. Evacuation by anyone is forbidden. Excuse me, sir. General Yamashita has ordered the evacuation of the city by all military units. Manila is an open city. I take my orders from Admiral Iwabach. General Yamashita is with the army. Captain, if you would speak 
to the admiral for us. There's, there's nothing I put to keep us alive. There is nothing I can do. stronghold without air support? Well, sir, we didn't have too much air support in the Solomons. Bull. I'm talking about an enemy-held city where the enemy is dug in on every street corner. About a final line of defense that's surrounded by stone walls 20 feet high and 16 feet thick. The trouble is, we have agreed that Manila is an open city. We have. But there's still maybe two divisions of Jap Marines in the city, armed to the teeth and spoiling for a fight. So it's not our fault if we have to kill a few thousand Filipino civilians to flesh them out. I didn't know you cared, General. Sir, these people fought alongside of us with Botanic Corregidor. Then they kept on fighting the Japanese all by themselves for three more years. This is not Hamburg, Berlin, or Tokyo. Yeah. Well, there's nobody here but us good guys now. Bergen, what do you think it will cost to take me more? Plenty, sir. I think the enemy is planning on using the civilian population to slow us down. You bet your life he is. And the civilians are in for it one way or another. If you'll excuse me, gentlemen, you're beating a dead horse. Scap will permit no modification of this particular order. Manila is an open city. We will go in under that assumption. And what the hell are we holding this meeting for? To decide on what to do in case our assumption is wrong. Nothing more. Manila Bay, where all boats have to pass for the approaches to the city of Manila. While the American forces 
prepare an assault to liberate the city, one of many fishing boats is returning home. Andy, listen. What's that? Take a look over there. Where? Over there. Thanks. American thanks. What? Get the guns. Quick. Douglas MacArthur issued secret orders to the U.S. 1st Cavalry Division to make a lightning dash into the center of the city to free Allied prisoners of war in the famous Santo Tomas concentration camp located on the north side of Manila. With the help of Filipino guerrillas who have cleared the way, the 1st Cavalry has reached the outskirts of the city five miles from Santo Tomas. I'm a captain. Yes, sir. Who are you fellas? Ramses Guerrilla, sir. I'm glad to see you. Now, is there anything we can do about this traffic jam, or shall we take time out to have a party? The next intersection, that's where we leave the column, right? Yes, sir. We turn left towards Palintawak, then right again on Bonifacio Avenue. I've got to ask you one more time, Captain. Are you sure the whole route's been cleared of enemy troops? I'm sure. If the Japs at Santo Tomas find out we're coming, we may not find a single American internee alive. Colonel, all I'm promising you is that the route to Santo Tomas University has been cleared. I can't guarantee anything else. Good enough. The University of Santo Tomas, oldest Christian university in Asia. Built in 1619, it is older than Harvard, which was built in 1637. Santo Tomas, now a concentration camp for Allied prisoners of war. Break it up, break it up, watch out for the guard! Well, what is it? What's it say? Oh, 
Over 7,000 internees have passed through the Santo Tomas concentration camp. Internees of different nationalities, including American, British, Dutch, French, Spanish, Belgians, Scandinavians, and many other Europeans. Mexicans, Argentinians, Brazilians, and other Latin Americans. You have one half hour to prepare yourself for evacuation. Anyone who is not ready will be shot. Understand? Dismiss. Return to your quarters. Go. Back entrance is right there, Colonel, just down the street. Hey, wait! What's going on? What are they up to? Now listen, everybody, they may come back for us. Just don't make it easy for us. Listen, listen. Spread out. Don't make a break for it. Just spread out. Come on, spread out.
okay? Yep. Here comes the bus. Can I go with you? Where? I have nothing better to do. You guys mind? There's plenty of room. Do you know any girls in town? Some. If we have time to look for them. We'll find time. Liberation Day, over 3,400 internees were in Santo Tomas. The Liberation Forces freed 2,146 civilians. The rest were mass beheaded, decapitated in an orgy of bloodletting. Malacanon Palace, official residence of the President of the Philippines, on the north side of Manila. Intramuros, the ancient walled city, built by the Spaniards 400 years ago. This was all of Manila then, a city built like an ancient fortress with surrounding walls 20 feet thick, interlaced with tunnels. 
Here, the Japanese Imperial forces have built their stronghold for a last stand. Americans will pay a very high price for this old pile of ruins. If I might be permitted a question, sir. Yes. What is the Admiral's plan for disposition of the civilian population? The civilian population, Captain, is an important factor in the defense of a city. In Stalingrad, the people fought side by side with Russian troops. Here we are not so fortunate. But even hostile civilians can be used profitably. We will use our Filipino friends as implements of defense, as barbed wire, as land mines, as booby traps, as the situation demands. War is hard on humanists, Murakami. It might console you to consider that their own prospects for the future are no better than theirs. sister. Are you all right? We must try to escape as soon as possible. Tonight, if we get the chance. We must try. The Japanese will hold us as hostages. We cannot risk the lives of the children. They will kill us all. Sister, do you really think that they'll let us go? I don't know. Do no, sister. Now we must act while there is still time. But all of the world city has been closed. Even if we did manage to escape, where could we go?
On the outskirts of the city, on the south side, the liberation forces battle relentlessly to save hundreds of thousands of trapped civilians in and out of the walled city. Well set up. It's going to be hard. We're not pushing it. We have enough men and firepower here to make sure they won't get out. So we wait for reinforcements? We wait, Colonel. Not you. Advanced units of the 37th Regiment are moving into the city right now. Your outfit and one of our regiments will have to meet them at Santa Ana. Intelligence says you should find no oppositions. Not even a, a few hours sleep? Well, three hours, okay. Sorry, Colonel, but I have my orders, too. Well, I'd better get the word out now. Captain Ines Mercado, sir, 3rd Engineer Battalion. Say, Mercado, how did you get out of the hospital? My wound's much better, sir. That's not going to heal here. Sir. I'd like to go with you to Manila. Why? My girlfriend is in Malate. Malate? Malate, one of the most fashionable residential districts in the city, located in the south of Manila, just off the walled city. The civilians are all herded as hostages against the fast approaching liberation forces. Minister of the Republic, a friend of Japan, Tomodachi. I have my identification. <laughs> Your commanding officer, please. I'm an important man in the government. Can you understand?
a single one of these children. I am alone. How long have you been here? Right? Hungry? Your concern is a little late. have an order to kill all civilians who attempt to escape. Kept you. This is a bit heavy. Go ahead. Sure, in a second.
What are you afraid of? We're quite safe in this tunnel. It's not so bad now, is it? What do we do if that Japanese officer who was here comes back and shoots all of us? <laughs> if any soldier is coming here, he would have discovered us now. Sister, please. I'm hungry. We eat only when we're really hungry. You're not that hungry, are you? Yes, I am. It won't be long now. Celia, take care of the children, huh? Where are you going, sister? Uh, I'll be right back. Uh, tell them the story about the monkey and the turtle. I'll be back here before you're through. Tell the story in English. Go ahead, get started. Once upon a time, there was a monkey who lived in the forest. He was a very foolish monkey. Why are you here? I warned you about the patrols. I had to take a chance. We're running out of food and water. And where did you expect to find any? I don't know. But I won't let them starve or die of thirst. Which is exactly what would happen if you were caught. And I would not be able to help you. I never asked for your help. I did not say you had. Here. Why? I assure you, the food and water are not poisoned. Now get below quickly. Give me your word you won't venture out until it is safe. I'll try to find some way to bring more food to you. Hey, Morgan, can you dig up a couple of cases of beer somewhere? What for? Haven't you heard about the party yet? What party? Tomorrow night, a dance. Brown and Tabor met these three broads. Sisters, they got a place house up in La Loma, a couple of miles from here. Brown, Dario, and Mir provide the chow. The boys are scaring up a record player somewhere. So how about you and your buddy? What kind of girls? Female cam, what cam were you looking for? Morgan's careful. His old lady writes about three times a week. <laughs> it's okay by me. What do you say, Raul? It's okay. I don't have to come. Not a sweat. You guys relax. Charles P. Morgan of the Altoona Morgans will provide all. Three cases of beer from the House of Morgan. Hey, I just remembered something, though. I, I don't dance. What's going on? Jap sniper out there. God, he's not one of your guys, is he? No, he's not. He's a son of a bitch, Makapili. Native? He must have holed up in that house over there, waiting for a chance to make a break. I didn't know any of these people fought for the Japs. 
A few local punks and ex-cons, they call them Machapilis. The gorillas have been butchering them all over town since we moved in. Want to take a look? No. What's there to look at? He's dead, isn't he?
No, it's the Nips. They started firing on their own positions. The Japanese are withdrawing into a string of heavily fortified positions, forming a rough semicircle from here to there. The enemy's flanks are protected on the west by Manila Bay and Corregidor Island, on the north and on the east by the walls of the old city Intramuros. Now linking these strong points are a great many pillbox installations scattered throughout its perimeter, the approaches to which are heavily mined. Now an estimated 60 to 75,000 Filipino non-combatants are still behind the enemy lines. This morning, the first cavalry... Excuse me, Colonel. We're quite anxious about civilians behind enemy lines. May I ask if any plans are being considered for their relief? There are no such plans, Colonel. Some days ago, General, we suggested that a truce team be sent out to negotiate with the Japanese for the evacuation of Filipino civilians. The Japanese are deliberately holding the civilian population solely in order to slow us down. If you'll excuse my saying it, General, your conclusion seems to be based on pure conjecture. What actually has been done? Nothing has been done, Colonel. Nothing can be done. Would you make the same decision, General, if this were Los Angeles or Baltimore instead of Manila? You must realize that under the circumstances, I can only consider that an impertinent question. Please continue, Colonel Bergen. The core of the enemy's defense is right here, behind the walls of Intramuros. All approaches to the old wall city are heavily mined, as is every street behind those walls. Parada Chief of Staff, Shimbo Army Group Headquarters. Kondo, sir. Send your aid to Admiral Iwabats. The Admiral is expecting you. Please, follow me. Good to see you again, Colonel. But I must tell you that I have very little time to spare today. I will try to be brief. The American command has agreed to permit you to withdraw your forces from Manila by General Yamashita's orders. You already know that I do not recognize General Yamashita's authority over me. Your position is without basis in the military code. I urge you to reconsider. No. The decision to withdraw into the mountains was a political one. I am a soldier. If the Imperial forces are to make a stand at all, Manila is the place to fight. Every street, every house in this district is a veritable fort. Here we can make the enemy pay dearly for every inch of ground he takes from us. That is why the Americans are so anxious to give me safe conduct out of the city. 
The Americans are primarily interested. 50,000 Filipino civilians behind your lines. Yes. And if there were half a million, perhaps they would be ten times as anxious. Since you will not listen to me as a soldier, permit me to speak as a man. The world we know, the world we help to make, is coming to an end. I despise you for believing such a thing. Yes, the Americans have achieved superiority in weapons and in numbers. But if we can defend every position we hold with uncompromising ruthlessness, our weak-bellied enemies will soon lose their taste for fighting. This is what I believe. To believe otherwise is death. And die bravely, dear friend. But die with the bravery of a man, not that of a beast. I will die the best way I know how. That is all a man can do. Shoot! I surrender! Be brave, children. Just a few days more, and we'll be out of here. Huh? I may not be able to return again. You have enough food and water to last a few days. Try to make it last as long as possible. I am sorry I could not bring you more. a great deal for us. Perhaps you have saved our lives. There's nothing you need to say. But I must say this. What, what I have taken from you, I have accepted in shame. I'm ashamed that with your help, we have remained alive. So many have died at your hands. Sister, it has been shameful for you to accept my help. You must learn to live with your own shame. I cannot share it with you. The shelling will get worse in the next few days. When it stops, you should wait at least one more day before you try to get out. And you? Although the south side of Manila has yet to be liberated, at Malacanang Palace on the north side, General Douglas MacArthur welcomes President and Mrs. Sergio Osmeña as he reinstates civil government. Mr. President, more than three years have elapsed years of bitterness, struggle, and sacrifice since I withdrew our forces and installations from this beautiful city that, open and undefended, its churches, monuments, and cultural centers might, in accordance with the rules of warfare, be spared the violence of military ravage. Thank you. 
Thanks. Then we were but a small At least now every time I open my big mouth, it's in friendlier surroundings. I'm sorry, Colonel. Nothing personal. Be my guest. Have a beer. That struggle Thanks. Was not in vain. What do you think God of the speech? Well, it seems to have all the right sentiments. Look, Colonel, don't let it get around, but I really don't have all the answers. I'm afraid I'm no match for you, Colonel. You think the U.S. Army handed your people a bum deal by refusing to take into account the civilian population of Manila? It's a valid opinion. But not necessarily the truth, huh? Colonel, battles hardly ever turn out as planned. Up to a month ago, a lot of us thought we'd just walk into Manila with all flags flying. Did you? No, I didn't. I didn't know for sure. And neither did you. Or at least some sort of an effort would have been made to evacuate the city. Colonel, this is your country. And maybe we didn't do such a bang-up job running it for you. Maybe we could have avoided getting you involved in this war at all. Maybe. The point is, we're going to be getting out of here very soon and you're going to be completely on your own. And that lets you off the hook, huh? Well, whether it does or doesn't is something we'll have to decide for ourselves. America is our country. The Philippines is yours. All we can do is what seems right and hope for the best. It sounds quite sensible, Colonel. Maybe that's the trouble with it. <laughs> you can say that again. As the southern part of the city was liberated, block by block, buy and sell centers sprouted everywhere, as in this case, where less than five blocks away, the Japanese were still holding thousands of civilians captive. Let's go, let's go, chicken without feathers, haba haba, see for yourself, 100% virgin. Very sexy, nice pink boobies, very big, so very big. Everybody, just look, no that. Double say to that. Chicken without feathers, only a few feathers between the legs. Woo! Come on, everybody. Hey, yo, let's go, everybody. Here's the sample. See more inside. See more inside. 100% pure virgin. Slippery wind wet, so slippery wind wet. Come on, Joe, let's go. Okay, you can touch, you can touch, but not between the legs. Not between the legs, say Joe. Rizal Memorial Sports Complex, where the Japanese have herded thousands upon thousands of civilians as hostages. And only a few blocks away, the strip teasers were already doing a booming business. They're going to kill us. One for your life. One for your life.
these people know it isn't over yet? They have families in there. What's holding us up anyway? I don't know. I'm in no hurry, are you? You know those guys, Ro? No. They sure seem interested in you. Hey, Concepcion! Tony Concepcion! Don't. Don't look at them. Who are you talking to, Mac? What is this? What the hell is this? Your friend is the Mahapili. Japanese informer. We've been looking for two months now. You're a liar! Ask him. He knows who he is. It's true. I don't believe it. Believe what you like. He's dead anyway. Nothing to patch up, is there? Why, Ro? It doesn't make any sense. You'd be surprised. Lots of traitors are swell guys. Don't you talk to me like that. Well, you want to know why? I don't know why. I just wanted to get along. I was your friend, chap. Are you mine? we would not be harmed. They were all set to shoot him, and he was still arguing. Old man, I think I'll go and look for Rose. I'll go with you. No, don't. I won't be away too long. All right. Just find Lucy and Rose. Huh? to recognize me. Where's my sister? What have you done to her? 
Rose, Lucy's out of danger now. No one can hurt her anymore. Don't worry about her. Uh, how, how did I save Lucy? I hid her. Uh, so no one would find her. Rose. Rose. I've looked for you everywhere. Don't ever leave me again. I need you. You're hurt bad. Why didn't they take you? I'm waiting for a friend. Are you a friend? Sure. I got nothing against you. Will you get me my cigarette, please? You're the one looking for your mother. Yes, sir. I heard you. But why do you think your mother's here? She was brought here. I look everywhere for her. She may be. Might be. Go ahead. Cry. If you think it will help. But I look all over the place. You haven't even started yet, and you've got to take it. If you want to take it easy, be a collaborator. Look at me. No sweat. Are you going to help me? Huh? Huh? Make certain you don't lose your maps. One of us must get through to the American lines. Let's go.
Nothing can be done to cover the breach. Move all available units to these positions. That should hold the Americans back for a while. Sir, the south wall has also been breached. That can be handled by reserves at tunnels 43 and 108. I'm afraid tunnel 43 has already collapsed, sir. Tunnel 43? I'll go ahead. Just wait around here. Keep an eye for the Americans. One of us has to get through. Here.
must get her to a doctor. It's too late for that. Was it you who killed her? Yes. Yes. I killed her. I'm a sergeant of the Philippine Scout. Take me to an intelligence officer. Quick! Uh, 
Well, son, this is the best little tourist guide I ever saw. We better move along, sir. That next intersection over there has three landmines and plenty of... Let me take a look at that so-called scratch of yours. I'm all right, sir. Really, I'm all right. We better hurry, sir. We're falling behind. Medic. No! Sergeant, you've had a busy day. This is as far as you go. Why don't you let the U.S. Armed Forces carry on from here? I belong to the U.S. Armed Forces, sir. I am a scout. This was the battle for the city of Manila. Beneath the rejoicing faces of its survivors is the grim reality of war. In the words of General Douglas MacArthur, Manila was the most devastated city in the Pacific. What did it cost to liberate Manila? Over 6,000 Americans killed. Over 16,000 Japanese killed over 500,000 Filipino civilians killed.